How's it going guys? It is only Corey here and I am bringing you guys a nice little tutorial today on how to overlay videos in Windows Movie Maker. So, don't worry, everything's free, you don't need any, uh, you don't need to pay for anything, you don't need to buy anything, it's all just free downloadable software and it's completely safe, okay? So, as you can see in Movie Maker, you can't really, uh, there's no way of actually doing it. <coughs> and uh, there's this watermark up the top left here, and for the longest time I'd been trying to figure out how in the world to get rid of it, because it was really annoying me. So, as you can see, it just, it wouldn't go away. Couldn't figure out a way to overlay or whatever. All you have to do is go onto your internet browser, Go onto your internet browser, search up Expression Encoder 4 Pro. Then the top result, uh, it should be the top result, just make sure it says the same thing as that. Click on it. And then uh, this 100% safe, you just choose what language you would like it in and just click download. Now, once you download that, it should do an installer, then just do whatever you need to do for that. Install it, and then it should come up to here. So you just get in. Uh, to import videos, all you have to do is press Control i or File Import, import whatever you want. So, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to come over, over here, and we're going to click on Enhance. Yep, Enhance. So click on Enhance, and come down here, and you should see a thing that says Visual Overlay. Then click on Add Overlay. So now I've got my picture that I'm going to cover it up with, just a black square. And um, yeah, so let's just do that. Now, as you can see, I've run into a little problem. I can only move it so that it stays in the square format. To fix that, all you have to do is come down to maintain aspect ratio, click that one off, and then you are able to resize it however you would like. Now you can just do that, and bam, everything's nice, everything looks good, you can't even tell. So as you can see now, if we start this again, you can't see the watermark whatsoever, so that's good. Now you have to export it. To do that, come over to Output, where it says Job Output. Put in wherever you need it to be saved. Uh, you can click on Save Job File, it doesn't really matter. And once you do that, go up to File and Encode. Now once you encode that, go to wherever you saved it. And from there, it should just be chilling there in a file with that and uh, another file. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, it would mean the world to me. I will try to post more regularly as it is school holidays now. Please leave your ideas in the comments below because uh, it's kind of hard to think of ideas, especially because most things have already been done. So uh, yeah, please let me know what you thought on this video. Uh, give it a like and I'll see you all later.